It is obvious to be curious about the technical hierarchy of the company you just joined or considering for a job in. In this vlog, you will get to know about the technical hierarchy model in TCS. Let's go through a brief introduction to TCS. Tata Consultancy Services is one of the largest multinational companies. It is also the largest IT company in the world by 2021 with market capitalization of $169.2 billion. It operates in 149 locations in 46 countries. TCS is placed among the world's most reputable IT services with 4,69,261 employees. As shared in my last video, we'll focus only on the technical positions. So without further ado, let's move on to the technical hierarchy of TCS. The technical hierarchy in TCS is quite similar to the one followed in Infosys and HCL. However, the band system followed by TCS is not available for the outsiders. Hence, here we will explain the chain of command based on the designation or position. So this is how it goes. The starting level or the base level is Assistant System Engineer Trainee. When you first start with TCS as a fresher, you will be positioned as the Assistant System Engineer Trainee, abbreviated as ASE Trainee. This is the starting position where you will get the full exposure relating to the system engineer works. For one year or at least six months, you will spend your time in this position. Average annual salary of an ASE trainee is 3 to 3.5 lakhs INR. It's important to mention here that we can only give an approximate view for salary package. Considering the dynamics of corporate sector, these values are not fixed and hence flexible. You should be actually at the right place at the right time. Then literally sky is the limit. Coming back to the crux, after gaining around one year experience as a trainee, you will be promoted to assistant system engineer, the next designation level. As assistant system engineer, you assist the system engineer with works and projects. There will not be a major difference in the work and tasks performed by you, but you are no more a trainee. Average annual salary of an assistant system engineer in TCS is between 3 to 4 lakhs INR based on your experience and skill. The next step in the growth path is a system engineer. After your two years of experience in TCS, you will become a system engineer. He is the one who performs directly under the team lead, tech consultant or project manager based on the different types of cases. Average annual salary of a system engineer is four to five lakhs INR. After around five to seven years of experience and performance, you will be promoted as IT analyst. Here you will no longer be doing the developing job. Instead, you will analyze the system and give suggestions for the development. The average annual salary for an IT analyst is 5 to 8 lakhs INR. If you have more than 7 years of experience in TCS, then you will be promoted to the next designation. That is assistant consultant. The role and responsibility of an assistant consultant may differ based on the type of project. However, broadly, he will be consulting many clients or assisting the clients for next few years. There will be an increment of salary up to 10 to 12 percent. You can become an associate consultant after few years of experience. It is fully performance based. TCS mainly focused on IT consultancy services. There are more than one associate consultants. Next step in the ladder is consultant and senior consultant. The roles of associate consultant and consultant are similar. However, the salary, responsibilities and power of a consultant is a bit higher than the associate consultant. If you have served as a consultant more than three years, you will be promoted as senior consultant or principal consultant based on your performance. This next 
role is the supreme authority in the technical chain command. As a principal consultant, you will lead and command many consultants and allot the task or clients for each consultant based on their performance. The resource is also responsible to communicate with the managerial team and higher authorities like vice president and CEO. There are many designations more than the one discussed above, but they are related to business and management. And also note that only the designations are discussed here, not the roles. For example, a senior system engineer can also be a team lead for a project. Similarly, an analyst can also perform the test engineer in some projects. Actual roles vary based on the projects and tasks. So that's all about the technical hierarchy in TCS and I hope that it will help you in taking a rational decision in your career path. All the best from our side and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.